starting with Sri Lanka, we've seen the protesters take over since this past weekend as uh, and now as uh, as they took over the uh, president's office and house and now the Sri Lankan president Gotabaya Rajapaksa has let fled the country uh, on a military plane as hundreds of protesters have stormed the prime minister's office demanding his ouster too for him to resign immediately and this has come as people have been uprising over the devastation that they've been dealing with with their economic crisis uh, which has been going on for quite some time as uh, it's, a, it's a very dire situation when it comes to their basic necessities and those are the images of what you're seeing with protesters um, over the weekend. And uh, Rajapaksa, the president, essentially called the Speaker of Parliament to say that he would resign later in the day. And uh, his ally, Prime Minister, well, he says that uh, he should be the interim president. And this is what has infuriated the Sri Lankans who have been struggling for months on end with shortages of basic necessities like food, fuel, power. And the president's flight that took off on a military plane, well, essentially that was after when he tried to get on, uh, go through the airport uh, just yesterday, and he was stopped by uh, immigration security, who believed that he should not be fleeing the country uh, amidst his, uh, uh, his, his resignation and what the country is going through. Now, the prime minister's office has declared a state of emergency and a curfew with immediate effect to be able to tame what they're seeing with protesters on the streets and they said that uh, essentially this is to be able to regain control of the country but the protesters who are now uh, outside of the prime minister's office have been essentially the police have uh, st been stationed outside of the prime minister's office and have several have fired several rounds of tear gas and the military helicopter is circulating overhead to be able to tame what they're seeing with the protesters who have now in response uh, to the president's resignation and his request for the prime minister to take over. And when it comes to what's happening in Sri Lanka, well, this uh, COVID-19 has uh, definitely done a number on the country. And since then, Sri Lanka's tourism dependent economy has been hampered by what was going through with COVID-19. And that comes after uh, many years of tax cuts and tax breaks by the uh, former president in 2019, which essentially left the government's finances in a bad situation and their shrinking foreign reserves have also curtailed their ability to import fuel, food and medicine. Right now, when it comes to petrol, well, it's being rationed in the country. And when it comes to inflation, well, it's hit a uh, record high at 54.6% last month. We're talking about 7.7% here in Canada. In Sri Lanka, it's 54.6%. And uh, the central bank is saying that that could rise to 70% in the coming months.